guys it's donna from donna's creative space today i am here to share this stamp set and punch that are retiring this is the under my umbrella stamp set from last year and the umbrella umbrella builder punch and i really like this stamp set and punch and we have a second one so it's in the catalog if you're looking on page 20 but it is also has another stamp set that is on page 44 called Pretty Parasol. And this one um, coordinates with the punch also. So that's also retiring. So if you like this stamp set and punch, you might want to get both those stamps and the punch to go with them. But in any case, I'm going to show you um, a couple of cards. I'm kind of winging it. I just thought I would play. You know how you think I have so much paper and stuff that I just want to see what I have and um, go through it and try to come up with a card. Now this is all the playing with patterns paper that um, I have left over from various card classes. But this punch and stamp set I used back in April of 2020. And I made these four cards back then with designer series paper from back then. So this was a year ago. This was my April card class to go. So I pulled that out to give you an idea of what you could make with the stamp set. Now, I, I don't happen to have the parasol one, so I can't show you any samples of that one. But this one here, I'm not sure if we put anything on the inside. Oh, just a little thing of the blossoms on the inside. So that one was kind of cute, and this one was cute but plain. Oh, no inside on that one. And this one, I really like this one. It was cute. Some of these are my samples, so I might not have the inside. I really like this is when you cut out the DSP, which I want to do with you today. And a little, the little blossoms in that one. And then here's, again, some stamping and some cutting out. Now, this was DS designer series paper that had umbrellas on it that you could punch out. They coordinated with the punch. And this is a white base, of course, that this is just a plain inside. So I am going to play around with a couple of things. And I just thought I'll, I'll pull out the stamp and the punch. And um, I want to use this playing with patterns. I have a lot of scraps. Sometimes I just want to go through the scraps and use something. And then also I have this little bin here of when I'm designing cards and playing around with punches and die cuts. I have, um, I just put the extra pieces in here. Oh, that one is that, that was that, that's that one. So maybe I'll put that aside and I can use that for that card. But I have other shapes that um, I could stamp on. And, but anyway, so I'm going to try to use what I have. That's a fun thing to do is just kind of improvise with things that you have cut out, scraps that you have left. So what I'm thinking of is if I were to make this card here, right? So I just realized I already have to, I have that, so I don't have to die cut that out. But let's see, um, I really like this purple pattern here, right? So I'm thinking, let's see, do I have something wide enough? Um, ooh, this is wide. I'd have to cut it down. Instead of the raindrops in the background, I was thinking of that for a background would be pretty. And then, oh, I like the, the stripes going a different way. Oh, here's one. Here's a piece. I could do the umbrella. Oh, that's a big, I thought it was a skinny piece. That could be one of the umbrellas, right? Striped. And I'm going to see if there's something else in here. Now, I have plenty of paper, so I don't have to use a scrap. But I just thought, I'm not sure this would be, now that's not too different to go on it. So... Oh, that might, mm, two stripes, I don't know. I'll have to go through, oh, maybe, um, oh, that's too small. Well, nope, that might fit. Nah, dots and dots. You know, sometimes you just have to find something that really goes. Let me see, these are all just scraps. I don't know if I want to do two stripes. But I could do that purple. It might work, but I'm not sure. So... The full pack, well, not, I shouldn't say full, because these are all opened. Oh, maybe I'll do that. Oh, you know what? I think this might be kind of fun. Uh, too busy, maybe? Uh, uh, I don't know. 
I have to kind of play around with different things, but I'm trying to find something. So I have like this stripe and this go together. They are the, the same paper, but just backwards. So I really need something. You know what I could do is I could just take a piece of scrap cardstock for that. So that maybe that's what I'll do. Instead of search around, I'll make, I'll make one solid. All right, so now I have a bin of card bases. See, card bases. And let me see if I have any white. I do have a white. I think I want to do a white background. So we have a white background. I'm going to use this for a mat. I'll use this for that. I will use this side. Oh, I don't know why these are out. I don't need that. Then I think I need... You know, I'm thinking maybe like a navy blue scrap to make this. And we don't really have to do it exactly like this. This... I have a scrap in here. There's a couple scraps. Oh, you know what? I mean, I'm going to keep those out. And I think that might be it. So I think what I want is my Knight of Navy ink. And maybe this lighter color might be Misty Moonlight. I wonder how different that would look. Misty Moonlight. Let's see. That might be too dark. But it is a different color. I was just thinking of if I'd use navy ink for the words and then misty moonlight for the teardrops. That might be interesting. All right, so now let's see. Okay, like I said, I am winging it. So I need the no matter the weather. Excuse me, the no matter the weather. I love the stamp set. It really is cute. No matter the weather and the raindrops. Gosh, that's all I need for this. No matter the weather, we're friends forever. That's really cute. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna grab some grid paper and see if I can get all this in one, one swoop up on. Okay, so there's our inspiration card. This is from, gosh, May of last year, right? No. What did I say? April. April's card class last year. So here's our base, right? So this here, we need four by five and a quarter. So I'll get my... Oh, it's already four. That's good. All right, now I'll cut it. I might be out of your image, but now it's five and a quarter. So four. So I'm going to cut this. Um... Four, oh, I might be out of the image area. Four by a half an inch. Hmm, I think I'm going to go three quarters. I don't know what that is. That looks like a half inch. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'll do three quarters. I'm going to make another one half an inch, and then I can decide later. Okay. All right, so have that, have that. Now, let's play around with the stamp now. All right, so I have these two. I need, oh, I need the umbrella stamp too. Um, wrong one. This one here. Okay. So let's see. I want my memento ink. Let me let me get some blocks out. So I need this one is going to go on a ten. A D block. Um, this, the raindrops. This can go on a B. And this one I shall put on a D. I could put it on something narrower. But all right. So I'm going to use this for an umbrella. What's the other one that I had out? Maybe, was this the one? I don't remember now what I was going to use. Oh, I think I was just going to play around. Okay, so let's see. This is going to go on that. This is going to get stamped. We have those two just in case. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to take your Memento ink. Right? Actually, I think I'm going to switch it. I'm going to switch it to... Because I'm going to use the do the words in navy... 
So I'm going to wash off the stamp. Off to the side I have my scrubber. In case you hear me spritzing something. I'm going to use Knight of Navy to do the outlines of the umbrella. So we're not going to be doing any coloring, so we don't need to. So I'm just going to, let's say, take, make sure I'm in the image area. Okay, so that is one umbrella. And I thought I picked out something else. Well, I think I'm going to try this one. And I can always change it. I don't have to do it. Okay. Maybe I will take... Let's see, what else did we have? Um, the polka dots, like that. Yellow doesn't really go. Because, of course, we have these polka dots is what we're going with. Oh, I think I was going to take a scrap of paper. So let me see. Let me see what I have here. If I had a background that had a few different colors, that would be better. But it doesn't. So let's see. Maybe, maybe this one. We'll see. Because it doesn't really matter. I think I can do, I can just try different ones. So let me do this one. Um, this might be cute. Alright, and now while we have that out, we are going to put our sentiment down the bottom here. Like that. Now this is a scalloped rectangle that I cut out with the um, Stitch So Sweetly dies. These these are the Stitch So Sweetly dies. This is one of my favorite die sets because you have these four different shape labels plus you have six different sized rectangles, the scalloped stitched rectangles. So these are called the Stitch, stitch So Sweetly. All right, so back to the card. So now I'm going to just put, I think I'll use the Misty Moonlight let me just see how different it is from, oh, you know what I just did? I just stamped it in, hang on, I don't know if you saw what I just did, I just stamped it in, I opened the misty moonlight, but yeah, I think I'm going to use it. All right, so these raindrops are going to go just here, like that, okay, and let's clean that up. And then that's it for the stamping, because, let's see, let me close these up. So we have to do some punching. So, and like I said, we're going to do a couple of different umbrellas just to see what we like. So see how we have the line in there? So I'm just going to center it in that, center the punch, or it'll, punch a, it'll punch an area around the umbrella. All right, so there's one umbrella. And here's the other one. Let me get it centered, then I'll show you how it looks. Just like that. That's the second one. And this one, I know I only need two. I'm just trying to see which one I want to use. So here is the last one. I could also punch these out of solid cardstock, one colored cardstock. All right. So let's see how we do with that. Let's get rid of, put all this off to the side. This is kind of in the way. Okay. So, oh, more paper. Everything's all over the place. All right. So let's see. Let's just kind of see how this is going to look. I'm going to crease this, my bone folder. I'm going to put this right on that. So this designer series paper is playing with patterns in case I didn't mention it earlier. And I just want I like to use up my stash of paper sometimes and this is a good way of using it. Okay. Now I had two strips that I was going to use. I don't know where I put the other one. Of course, they just disappeared. 
Oh, here it is. So I have to decide if I like the thicker one or the thin one. So let's try the thicker one first. And I do have to cut out just like that, right? And I do, let's use, we're going to cut with this Knight of Navy, I'm going to cut um, two umbrella handles just like that. All right. And it depends on which way you put your umbrella handle. I'm going to put it this way this time. All right. And then I really like this. I really like this umbrella. That's kind of cute. Now, do I want this one? Or do I want this one? Don't know. Or what we can do is I can get a scrap. Let's see. Maybe some misty moonlight. We'll take a scrap of misty moonlight. Um, this might be well. Is that going to be too dark? Oh, you know what might be pretty? That looks like um, Bermuda Bay. You can always look at the back of the... Um, oh, it's Coastal Cabana, I bet. You can look at the back of the Designer Series paper and list some of the colors that coordinate with it. So that could be... I don't, I don't mind that one, but I wanted to try... Let's try a... Coastal Cabana and see if that looks any better. This might be kind of pretty. Yeah, let's let's stamp that. And I'll get my Knight of Navy out again. Get the umbrella. And I'll just stamp it like that. And we'll punch that out. Might be too boring, we'll see. Oops. All right. Okay. So, do we want a plain umbrella? Let's see. What do you guys think? Well, I'm not doing this live, so I don't know why I'm asking you because. You can't really answer. Oh, I kind of like that one. That might be kind of cute. It kind of goes, goes with the two. I think I do like the umbrella handle going this way, though. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a glue dot. I'm going to put a glue dot. Get this part out of the way. Put a glue dot in the center of the umbrella and attach the handle. Like that, right? Just so that I'm not playing around with that, and I'll do the same with this one. Maybe I'll let this one go that way, on that that handle go that way, right? So that's there. Okay, so now I can move it around. I kind of like that. What do you guys? What do you think? Hmm. I think I'm gonna go with it. So. Let me think. I maybe let's go back to this, the half inch. Yeah, I think I like the half inch. So let's do that. So let's let's get this down. Right. And I'm gonna use my grid paper for this because I can line up this point here and follow the line all the way over to this point. Right? And that way I know it's even. Then this is going to go up on. So. All right. All right. So this is going to go right in the center like this. All right, get that centered. And we're going to put this one over here. 
right? And this one's going to go a little higher. Oh, I like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a dimensional on this side and adhesive on this side. Oops, a piece of the paper. And dimensional on this side. That way, and I don't have to really put anything on. Well, I could. You know what I'm going to do? Just put a drop. Get my glue started. Come on. Oh, oops. Not that much. Just put a little bit. All right. I want to get rid of some of that. Didn't need all that. Okay. All right. This one's going to go like this. Oh, you know what? I'll take that off. That one's going to go there, like that. And then this one, so I'll put adhesive on this side and a dimensional on this side. Right. And then I think I'll just put a tiny, tiny bit this time. Couple of little bits. Peel that off. And this is going to go here. Like that. Isn't that cute? And you know what we could do? We take some Wink of Stella. Always, if you're going to squeeze it, squeeze it out somewhere else. Get that sparkle stuff going. Maybe I'll just, just color these raindrops in. Like that. Right. And the final touch for this, we'll put some a little bit of rhinestones. I always like to bling things up. I think I'll put one on this coastal cabana umbrella. Maybe I'll put one on each. I'll put one over here too. Isn't that cute? So this is the the same set from a year ago, but now I used current designer paper and current cardstock. So that's cute. So I think we should do another one. So that's that one. So let's see. I was thinking of doing this one. I think that is adorable. So I found some of these old kits. I found this old kit, but I don't want to use the designer series paper from way back then, so I am going to, let's see, we'll still use, this is current, and this is current, and this is current, let's see, we need a little square, um, hmm, hang on, the squares were missing from that one. This is for the umbrella. Oh, this is a neat trick and the boots. All right, so I need to get just some a square. And here is a Daffodil Delight Scallop Square. And then I have another square. Now, I like this next technique that I'm going to show you. So this next technique, so this is the card kit minus design a series paper. So I'm going to pull back in this design a series paper and let's see if I have something. I know this stripe would go. That would go. Right, that would go. But let's see what else we have. I want a close stripe, not something too... Not something too... T um, Jeez, I could, oh, I could do the, the polka dots, right? So I don't have this background paper, so I have to come up with something for that. Actually, this might be cute as the background paper. And maybe I'll do this as the umbrella and the boots. Let me see, what else do I have? 
some of these packs don't have everything in them. Oh, this might be cute. Oh my goodness, let me see. Is this one here? Um, hmm. I could do this one. I could do, I need something tight. I could do this one. All right? Hmm. Or I could do this one. That might be kind of cute too. Gosh, I don't know what to do. All right, so that's a scrap. Let's see. I want to see how this would look if I put this at an angle. Now I'm going to go back to the memento. Get rid of the blues. And I'm going to... What a mess I have here, huh? So let's see. This might be too... T Maybe I'll do this. I think I'll use this paper. All right, I think it'll be easier. And what we're going to do is called paper piecing. I love, I love, 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 love doing this. So I'm going to take my umbrella and I'm going to staple it. I think I want it all on an angle. So I'm going to, I'm going to stamp it at an angle. All right, so the lines are at an angle. Then I'm also going to get out the boots. Boots and a block for the boots. They they fit on they fit on a C block. And I also want them at the same angle, I think. So if that's going that way, hmm. Then I want the boots. Let's see, that's gonna be up there. That's like that, and that's going that way. So I think I want the boots like this. Right? And I, I, I'm not using the punch for these. You'll see how, why. All right. Oh, before I get rid of that, I have to stamp. So we're going to take the rain, rain or shine. And we need the... Sorry for the noise. We need those and those. And I think... Let's see, do we need this one? I'm not sure which one goes in the boots. Let's see. Um, I think it's this one, yeah. All right, so we're going to put our boots. Well, let's put our, let's get our words down first. Will these fit on this square? Yeah. All right, so let's get our rain or shine. And get up good. Keep them in the image. Rain or shine, you're always on my mind. Like that. Then we want to put the boots in the boots are going in this corner, right, like this, and then the flowers, I think it's this one here, now you'll see, we don't care that they go into the boot, and I'll show you why, so I'm going to put these like that, and they're going to overlap into the boot, which is fine, and then we're going to take this little set of flowers, and we're going to put them, I'm going to use the same block, and I'm going to put them just in this corner. Just a little decoration, okay? And while we have this out, I'm going to take a piece, the white inside, and I'm going to put this just on the inside, the bottom corner. And I believe that's all the stamping that we need to do. Oh, no, we have to, oh, yeah, we have our umbrella done. Oh, no, we need one more thing. We need... We need, where is that long strip? We need um, the umbrella in on the white, like so. Then we also need the handle. Okay, and this should fit on this little block. Let's see. I'm going to put it this way. I'm trying to see how that, I like to, I like to put it how I can get it in. So I guess I'll just put it this way. Let's see, I'll go this way. 
Well, hopefully that won't matter. All right. That's that. Okay, you guys following me? Now, I'm grabbing my blends, and I keep them bundled up in color ways. So I'm going to take the pumpkin pie dark and the daffodil delight dark. All right. Okay. Now, let's see. So this is how you do this. We're going to cut this out. I know my scissors are here somewhere. Here they are. So these two things are going to get cut out. And this is what we call paper piecing. Okay. Just cutting right on the line. And I'm not, I don't care about that little tip of the umbrella that's pointing out. I'm starting to think that this card might look too yellowy, so I might I might restamp this on something else. We'll see. So I'm just fussy cutting right just about on the black line. Because we're just gonna glue this. This is what we call paper piecing technique. Right. And it's gonna get pasted right on that, glued right on there, but I'm thinking it's gonna be too yellowy of a card. I wonder how polka dotted umbrella would look. So we need to have, let me make the card. Let's see how this is going to look. All right. All right. This, this goes on here, right? So, all right. This goes on here, like so. All right, so that's down. So we don't have this raindrop paper anymore, but I was thinking I'd like to just put a little bit more color into it. So I think I'm going to cut this down. And so the outside mat is four by four by five and a quarter. So this one, whoops. This one is going to be three and three quarters. So we'll cut off, we'll just get a little bit of that purple posy. And this will be by five. All right? And I was thinking that maybe I will bring in that um, the Misty Moonlight ink since I have that out. And maybe I'll just put some raindrops on this paper here, right? Make our own rain. And just just keep putting them all over the place. A lot of it's going to be covered, but we still want to put it on there. And uh, maybe a little bit up here. Maybe one or two. Okay, good. All right, so we put some raindrops. That's good. I don't know, just trying to use up some scrap pieces of design series paper. And it's kind of an experiment, so who knows what it'll come out looking like. But I wanted to bring in a little bit more color with this. Right, and now, so now we have this, we want to color. So I'm going to color my flowers with the, let me use the other point. Oh, I need to grab a green. I think the green, granny apple green would be good. So I'm going to color in the flowers. Um, let's see, I guess this one will get colored. And you'll see, it doesn't matter that this went over the boot, because you'll see what we're going to do. And I'm actually thinking of switching. Oops, while I'm here, I'll do these flowers. I'm going to try not to go over the center. Oh, and the inside. I love coloring with these Stampin' Blend markers, these alcohol markers. 
I just love them. You just color in little circles, and it gives you such a nice professional looking. And I, that was dark, da, dark, dark, daffigal, daff, bleh, dark, daffigal, daff, oh my goodness, dark, daffigal, <laughs> dark, daffodil, delight. Say that ten times fast. I couldn't even say it one time. Slow. All right. So I'm just doing the center of these. All right. That's our inspiration card. Yeah, I think I'm going to change that. I'm just grabbing, just grabbing my Granny Apple Green marker. I think I want to switch to those polka dots before I start cutting out. Let me see. Where'd they go? These polka dots? Let me try it. So I'm gonna, oh my goodness, this is such a mess here. I don't need that anymore. So I'm gonna, um, I'm not sure. What do you think? It's not really getting that many polka dots, so maybe that wouldn't look that good. Oh, but it, would, God, it looks like it might be cute. All right, we'll see. I'm going to do both, right? Okay. Oh, no, I'm going to do the... i got to try to get some... quite a few colors of the boots. Yeah, that would be good, just like that. There. And I'm going to cut them out so it doesn't matter that they're kind of sideways like that. All right, so I will have two options now when I go to do my umbrella, so we'll just see what they look like. I'll cut this out. I'm going kind of quick. You guys, if you decide to make this, look at that burn. I burnt myself on the oven today. I put an ice cube on it right away. I think I should put some salve or something on it. because it, it didn't. I didn't notice it looking so red. Now look at it. All right, so this it basically looks like a white umbrella with polka dots, but that might not be a bad thing. I just wanted to see what it would look like, kind of. Yeah, that's not too, too bad. But we also have the, the striped one, so we'll get to see what we want to do. And then I have the boots. Right? And I'm going to do the same thing now with the boots. Oh, I remember what I was doing. Let's see. So on this here... Where did I put the, um, here it is, on, on this, right, you are going to take your pumpkin pie or whatever marker you're using and color in the rims, the, the soles and, not the rim, what do you call that, the sole and the, well, maybe it is the rim, I don't know, whatever you call that top piece there, okay. All right, so now just in case I decide to do these, I think, hmm, I think I'll color these in. Just in case I decide to do the stripes, because I know, am gonna see which I like better. All right, so this is gonna get glued on the scallop circle. I mean, <laughs> the scallop square. Just like that. Right. Now, we still have to cut this out and this. So let's cut out this one here. So there's our little handle. Oh, this was close. You know what I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to I didn't realize how close that was, so let me just do a little surgery on that. Just so it doesn't look so bad. Okay, better. Alright, so what you're gonna do, right? Let me get rid of some of the junk. 
around here, some of the trash. Okay, so this is going to go on our card, like here. Oh, I think this is going to be pretty with that background. I'm going to use some of my side pieces here. Right. Okay. And this, so let's put this on the inside. I hope you get what I was doing today. I just kind of wanted to come on and just play around with the stamp set that is leaving. This will be retiring. It's available. I think they said that it's available through. I got a little piece sticking out here. I think it's available through the end of April. They'll guarantee the stamps through the end of April, and then um, and they retire. So you will want to, if you like this. Oops, I just threw away our boots. All right. So I'm going to cut this out because maybe these are going to work. I'm not sure if the dots are going to be as cute anymore. So let's see. Because I, I felt like when I was using this designer paper and then using pumpkin and yellow for the you know cardstock and the, the blends, I thought it needed some color. But now that I put that colored mat and stamped the... And I stamped those raindrops right on top of it. That kind of was a good way of doing it. So we have our, our boots and let's see. I'm not sure about those but let's let's see. Because this will go on here at an angle and this will be up here. This is what I'm thinking, right? Yeah, I think I like the stripe. Okay, so we're going to go with the stripe. So what you're going to do with this is you're going to put so we cut the outer edge of this, right? And we're going to fussy cut it and we're going to put some glue just a little bit and then whoops this is going to go right down and it's going to fall right inside the black cut lines Isn't that cool i love this technique same thing with this let me just trim i just saw something look a little i'm going to put some glue on the back of this one yeah i think in the end this um, stripe is going to look better. And this is going to go right inside the outline that we stamped on the Whisper White. And see, we didn't need to cut out that little tip because it's on the white. And then, now, I know, oh gosh, I hope I didn't throw it away. Oh, there it is. We have its little, um, the little handle. So I'm going to go grab a glue dot, put it in the middle of this thing, right, and then I'll put the umbrella on, put the handle on the umbrella, maybe a little bit higher, like that, right, cute, right, and then, let's see, I'm trying to see if I had... I think when I made these card kits so long ago, yeah, I had this twine. So I'm just going to use what I, what I already had for twine, but you can use whatever you have. This happened to be cut for this card kit. So this is going to go up here. This is going to go right like that. Oh, I think this is so cute. So we want to put dimensionals on the back of this one. You know, it's kind of funny. Sometimes, here they are, sometimes... When you're just playing around, things come out great. So I'm putting dimensionals on the back of that. We already did it on this. Look that. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on the end of the umbrella, like we did before. All right, so this is gonna go right about here. I won't press it down yet. And this is gonna go here so I think I can press it down now now that I know and I'm gonna take these off right take a little bit of glue it's just gonna go oops that's a little too much 
Let me get a piece of scrap. Come on. Scrape it off. And this is going to go right like here. Here like that. Cute, right? Then I'll take a little bit of the little drop of glue and I'll put this little itty bitty twine. I think I'll put it at the top of the umbrella just like that. And then, let's see. Gosh, this thing looks so cute. I was really thinking maybe it's not going to put some dimensional, I mean, um, some rhinestones on it. Come on. Hey. Stop that. Maybe I'll put one on the umbrella too. Just like that. Oh. Isn't that darling? Okay. So. Let me kind of clean up a bit. And see what we ended up with today. And then I can. Ugh. So. We redid this one. In current product and we did the other one where did I put the other one now oh my goodness oh. guys where did I put the other one where are they okay oh there they are they're right like in front of my face all right so let's see what we did with this stamp set we took, let me get rid of all the stuff that's around, clean up the area. All right, so this was one from my card class to go from April of last year. And I made it with new designer series paper. The um, designer series paper name is playing, playing with patterns in case you're interested. And I did the same with this one here. I made it with the same playing with patterns, whoops, paper. So those are the four card, the two cards I made today. So it's before and after, or last year, this year, last year, this year. So what do you think? Which ones do you like better? I think that I like, I don't know, I like them all. But anyway, so that is what I have for you today. These two new cards. These were my old cards. This was, I'll show you the other ones that I made with this set. I'll bring these in. So this was my, my card class to go from last year. Last April, gosh. And these are the new ones. So while I'm here, I'll point out this. This is my host code till April 15th. I have a card class to go, not this one. This is last year's, but I have a card class to go from um if you shop with me from april 1st to the april 15th it is using the ice cream cone the sweet ice cream um bundle so you can check out my blog donnascreativespace.com and to get a sneak peek of it or simply shop online with me at stamp donna singleton dot stampin up dot net spend 35 dollars and you'll get my card class to go kit for free it makes eight cards to each of four designs like i said check it out on donnascreativespace.com you'll see a sneak peek if you happen to catch my last facebook live video i also showed them in, at the end of that video so anyway that's all if you're watching this replay on um oh gosh if you're watching this on youtube please hit the subscribe button and also give me a thumbs up Take care, and remember, this stamp set under my umbrella and the coordinating punch are retiring. So if you like them, you might want to grab them before they're gone. Bye, guys.